What up, Rafa Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. We're back in this neck of the woods. This is North Rheinfeld Multilateral School, North Rheinfeld Secondary School. We'll get back to that in a second on the other side. This is East Rheinfeld Secondary School. They're building a new building over here, and that's East Rheinfeld. Some new buildings are going up in that neck of the woods. I've got to take a look at it sometime. But what I want to show you is what's happening here. It seems as if there's some changes happening to this building. So it seems as if they're changing the design, the construction of this building. What I see here is a number of steel I-beams that are positioned around the old structure or the new structure that they're rebuilding, the one that was burnt which seems to frame a bigger or a larger building so it seems that somebody's been listening to us in the last couple of weeks last month or so explaining and asking why is it that in guyana we're still building this sort of monstrosity to house children and since then somebody seems to have listened and have decided to change the design and the construction of this building so they're building around the old building a new building it seems so they put up some i-beams as you can see i hope what it means is they're going to tear down this old structure this uh, concrete structure with no windows because that is the old way in which we've been building in guyana and it's really um time we start building sensible responsible safe buildings for our kids so this is what is happening here it seems as if they're building something around the older old footprint of the building here in South Rheinfeld. I'm going to keep you updated on this because it is very important. As you know, there are about 20 kids that died in a fire in one of the government's buildings. And since then, there have been other fires in the interior. What is really damning about that incident is that all of those 20 kids that died were indigenous children, children from the Amerindian community in Guyana, children who were pre-teens, tweens, 12, 13, 14 years old, probably less, five, it was a five-year-old kid, boy that died. And it really is um, disastrous, not only for the country, but points out what is happening in the way people are still thinking about Guyana. Guyanese lives don't matter, right? And in the, in, in the light of Black Lives Matter and all these other movements, Clearly, Amerindian lives also matter, and the government is now, I hope, waking up, uh, gotten woke to the situation with these schools, right? Because none of these schools meets the standards of safety in the 21st century, how we should be housing and raising kids. And so I hope that means that the building is going to be changed, the construction, the design, the architecture of the building is going to change to make it safer. They're going to put some windows in it because, as you can see, these buildings have no windows. These are schools that are built more like prisons. But here we are back in this neck of the woods, guys. It's um, local government elections time. And it seems as if people in the major cities and towns have rejected the uh, ruling government's attempt to grab uh power at local government le level certainly not happening here in georgetown or new amsterdam Bartica, these places and that means that there's going to be some accountability because when there is no opposition there's no accountability and people just do what they want corruption takes over but that's the reality we're dealing with here in this neck of the woods we're going to continue our walk through this neck of the woods south round belt last time we were in this neck of the woods a week ago I meant to continue, decided to, we took a day off and it uh, turned into a week. So a week, a week later, we're back looking at new developments in South Rheinfeld. This is the junction. As you can see, there are billboards rising up in this neck of the woods. That's another three-story building. That's Mandela Avenue looking west. Alright, Mandela Avenue looking west. And here we are at this 
roundabout. Right, that's the roundabout. The new roundabout and heading south is the bypass road. So we're going to take a look at some of the developments in South Rheinveld during the past 50 years because some of you have lived here since the beginning when South Rheinveld was built. That's Aubrey Barker Road looking east. We're going to continue from where we left off. This is South Rheinveld Gardens looking west, Aubrey Barker Road looking west. That's the new Citizen Bank building and beyond that is the Demerara Bank building on the construction. So that's what's happening in this neck of the woods. We're familiar with that. We did a walk down the length of this East Bank Bypass Road to see exactly where it ends and how far it goes and some of the developments along as we said. This road is opening up Houston Estates that is the road runs directly through what used to be the Cane Field Sugar Estate and that land has now been repossessed by the state and turned over to local uh, developers for commercial construction and residential property and so we're going to see over the next 10 years how rapidly this neck of the woods gets developed because this road runs through it and makes it easily accessible in other words makes the land in this part of the South Georgetown neighborhood more accessible morning so, yeah yeah so what we're doing is showing you what it looks like in this neck of the woods before the development starts so that you have something to compare it to once it gets underway and eventually in 10 years when it transforms when development transforms these south georgetown plantations that used to be sugar cane fields now right at the beginning of houston that is we're still in south Rumbelt, the next intersection is houston there is the four points hotel four points resort that has been constructed it's been a year now since it's actually uh, broken ground and we've seen in a couple of videos in the past some of the progress the buildings have not gotten out of the ground yet but we're gonna start there to explore the continued exploration of South Rumveld Gardens we're going to see what has happened in the last couple of weeks, certainly in the last week since we've posted videos about this neck of the woods. And then we're going to continue our exploration of some of the older uh, neighborhoods, uh, housing developments, to compare so that you can be able to look back at these videos and compare what and how the old neighborhoods were constructed compared to what is happening in the new neighborhoods. See, one of the problems with the new neighborhoods is that there's a whole focus on house lots and not a lot of focus on community. And to build a community, you need to build schools, police stations, fire stations, recreational parks, gymnasiums, you know, shopping centers. All of that should be built within the community because ultimately it reduces traffic, right? Because if people can access these services within the community then they don't need to get in the car and drive out of the community and clog up the streets and the roads at all hours of the day and night and that is what's missing from these new housing developments that are being built over here we've seen that there is a 
there's a couple of new housing developments. See them along Caneview Avenue. Right, this is Caneview Avenue. You can see there's a couple of new housing developments in that direction. You can see some of them as we walked along. That uh, and over here, this is the Four Points. The Four Points Resort that is still being constructed. Right, this is the Four Points. Four Points Hotel and Resort. That's still under construction. I think it's not yet gotten out of the ground. As we go on to Caneview Avenue. Heading east. Right, so excuse me, this is the Four Points Resort in this neck of the woods. Alright, we saw the last time we were here that they were still building the foundation. And it's about 7, 6.30 perhaps in the morning, on a Wednesday morning, Wednesday the 14th of June. And this is what's happening. Right, the foundation is still under construction. But it seems to be coming out of the ground now. Right, it seems to be coming out of the ground. This is what it looks like. In this neck of the woods, this is what the Four Points Hotel and Resort looks like as being constructed. Here and beyond it. There's some new buildings, I think you see them, saw them in the previous video that are going up all along the East Bank Bypass Road. But we're looking forward to this one, which is a resort with a swimming pool and rooms to let. So that's what's happening guys, this is what's happening in this neck of the woods. If you want to see Makana like this, click like and subscribe in the couple of coming few videos I am going to explore some of the issues that are still going on we're still dealing with in Guyana some of the political issues and some of the development issues of course when you combine politics and development you get a certain unique set of challenges and we're going to explore those in South Romveld Gardens share this video with friends and family around the world let people know what's happening here in Georgetown Guyana as we undergo some of the most rapid development in the world I think the World Bank is putting the development um, that is the growth rate the GDP for Guyana at about 25 percent I think my calculation was about 50 percent to 60 percent and so we're gonna look back at that in some of the view, uh, coming videos to see actually what that means how they measure it and what it looks like in other words how it transforms how 25 percent 50 percent 60 percent GDP growth rate transforms the country Share this video with friends and family. Let people know what's happening here in Georgia and Guyana. Later.